um, and as you know, I'm doing a foundation to work with uh, Alfred Marine School. And the title of my project is How Water Sports and Outdoor Activities Affect Self-Esteem. Um, now for me, what sparked this off is uh, years ago before I moved overseas, um, I managed uh, an outdoor, well not an outdoor, an activity centre for children from deprived areas. Um, and I just thought it would be really nice to have some solid research to be able to put out in this field. That's originally what sparked it off. Um, now, uh, I now have my own business, it's nothing to do with um, children at all, but I just thought this is this would be the crux of my project, this is what I'd like to do. Um, there's lots of information out there which tells us basically outdoor activities improve confidence, but I just wanted to narrow it down a bit and um, have a bit more clear-cut information. Um, it's going to be really important to take into consideration the way children learn, their learning skills, their phobias. And the way I intend to do that is I've had a meeting with BF Adventures and they're very interested in me shadowing a project they're going to do this spring. Um, they work with uh, children who have got behavioural problems, I say lightly. Um, disruptive children, mainly. Um, so, what my intention is to do is working very closely with the instructors and the teachers um, and also interviewing the children but in, in a very casual way so I, I get a real feel for their personalities um, along with the backup from the teachers and instructors we can get a very clear picture on how they're progressing and obviously how um, water sports and the outdoor activities are affecting their lives um, let's have a look yeah, this is going to be in the spring. Um, this has all been set in stone. I've gone up, I've had two meetings, and they're, they're absolutely fine about me working alongside with them. Um, some interesting um, information I found also while I was researching is previously um, a chap named Peter Higgins found that when he gave children questionnaires, um, if they're multiple choice, they actually weren't very accurate. Whereas he gave, if he gave them open air, open, open air, open ended questions, uh, they're much more accurate. So what I intend to do is, rather than work with all the group, in maybe anything up to 30, I'm going to look at 10%, so I can spend more time with the 10%, I can take longer with them, spend more time with the tutors and instructors with the 10, and therefore I feel the, accurate, the, the results will be more accurate than I got out. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I'd just like to say I'm not asking for any um, for any money here. Um, I'm just just uh, wanted to. We've got you. Well, I don't need any. Thank you very much. Um, oh. If there's any questions, um, what are you trying to do with your research? If you if you discover anything, what, what will you do with that information? Well, primarily, I will we'll, um, let BF Adventures. Um, use that research because it could be really beneficial to the company as a whole. I think that's why they're so interested in taking me on board to be honest. Mm -hmm. There was um, CMN two years ago. Yes. In connection with the council. Yes. We had the, um, what was the big yacht? Clipper Challenge. So the Clipper Challenge there and then we put parties of 12 youngsters yeah. on it for a year or nearly, or two summers anyway. Uh, and uh, Judy Fellows was running at the time. Um, and the, and the results were perceived to be fantastic. Now there's a body of work there, sorry, there's a body of people there that yeah. may, which will give you something to work on now. Oh, lovely. Because they were 14 year olds. No, we actually did an evaluation of that project and looked at the improvement in soft skills and other participants. So that's, I'm, I'm hugely interested in, in what you're doing. Uh, a large part of what we do at the academy is, is deliver uh, motivational programs based on all sports to disadvantaged young people. Um, and part of it, we have to show the council we fund us um, yes. how how confident, self esteem, other areas, what we call soft outcomes. Uh, but I think it's key as well when you look at all the funding that's available now. I mean, you know, the National Lottery put something like thirty million in, haven't they, on uh, yeah. for uh, children to go and participate in outdoor activities. Um, and if there's evidence to back it up, yeah, it yeah, just yeah. opens it up to yeah, so what, many more children. What evidence are you going to get that's, that's you know really that's concrete? What evidence am I going well, to get? Going to let. You, you haven't got the t oh, it doesn't seem to me you've got the, the length of time. Which maybe if you could co if could go back to that start point. Yes. You've got you've got 
that you've got a history there, you've got bodies, and they're, they're now... And, 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 and they're now got... I mean, do them both if you wish, but you can crack on with that straight away. Yeah, assuming, right you're, right. assuming you're allowed access. Yeah. It, it would make useful background media. Yeah. yeah. You own, you own, obviously, experiment if you like. Well, well, thanks for the answer. It's very worthwhile, but... Yeah, so that back, back to the question of what's your baseline measurement, what's your, what your imagery, what are you going to have, what evidence are you going to show? Well, the evidence we're going to show is just obviously the results that I will find out. I have no idea what the evidence is going to be at this point. I have no you, idea. You, you must have, I do uh, have a belief that... Um, you must have forms that you're going to fill in with people to evidence where they're at now, where they absolutely, are. Absolutely. Like I said before, um, I'm going to be interviewing. There's going to be questionnaires for the children. I'm going to be liaison with the teachers and instructors. I'm shadowing the whole, uh, the whole process and I'm working with the children. Yeah, but how long? Um, throughout the whole spring. What, two months, three months? I think it's going to be about two and a half. I, I don't think, I mean, I, I, what, I think what you're trying to do is great. Yes. And very admirable, but I don't think you're going to do it. Because I, I, it, it's, you need three or four, I don't know, a year or something like that. I thought. Unfortunately, this project I mean, has been... I, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. Right. I think, I think that's added to the time. You reckon? Yeah. I throw something else in the mix there. Yeah. What you guys are saying is really good. Um, and time is obviously a factor, but have you heard something called grounded theory? No. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, don't you? Um, I do a bit of background on it, because you said that you want to, to loosely and casually go into uh, the situation and find something out. Grounded theory is like, um, it's basically a methodology, a social research methodology, where you don't go in with any preconceived ideas. Um, you do a very loose, casual interview, which very prompting. Now, so what do you think? What do you think? Okay. Well, what have you done? Yeah. And it's used quite a lot in fields like this. And you come out with an output. So you couldn't tell us now, if you use that methodology, exactly what it was that you wanted to find out. But at the end of it, you'd find out some useful information, you get some key points out of it that could then be useful to deliver as kind of management recommendations and things to people okay. that run these type of projects. So perhaps it might be appropriate for this project. Okay. Yeah, but it was an excellent, excellent presentation. Oh, thank you. Yeah, really well, really well put across to you. I'd be very interested in, in talking with you more if you want to come and talk to me about the research we've already done. Yeah, I'd love to. Our ongoing work. Take my card. Yeah. But just bear in mind that it's all about evidence. Um, working with the council, they're very strict on us, and we do sort of a baseline measurement where we're actually writing down what levels people say they think they're at and then they do a course and then they do out the same questionnaire again and you can see the distance travelled. So but I'll be happy to share you know, our approach to it. Yeah, that'd be most helpful. Yeah. It seems uh, it, it seems a bit insane sort of reinventing the wheel if you like. But I, I'm really interested in it. It's, it's, it's part of what we do. So. Yeah. But there's a good body of evidence there, isn't there? So, yeah. Yeah. You've yeah. Been, what you, was you know, the goal of the... Thanks very much. Well. Thanks, Mark. It certainly wasn't, wasn't it? We ran it, uh, it was two, over two years. There were 17 yeah. cohorts, yeah. and we about 260 odd kids did the programme. Yes. Some went on the big boat, others just went to water. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, and soft outcome was a big part of it, measuring the, the distance travelled. But uh, yeah, yeah. But I would, yeah, okay. if it were, well, I haven't known about it, I would have thought the researchers, well, not the researchers, the data there, yeah? mm. and presumably lots of the bodies are there as well. I mean, years ago, there was no uh, data about at all. Well, when we used to take the children into the country, when these were kids that had never seen a uh, cow or, you know, they never had any sweets, they would have one slice of bread, it's a very rough area in East End. And the difference, just getting them outside, was incredible. Well, that was, as this was, this, I mean, I'm the director at the time, and as it was unfolding, and they were coming back and saying, you wouldn't believe, you know, these, and they were the sort of the needs and that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. And as so they were going in one end, they coming off the boat at the end of the week, there was, a, you know, there was a change. Yeah, it was nice. such a transformation. Yeah. 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 So yeah. do you have a full-time business and go to college? Yes, I do, yes. <laughs> What's I, your business um, then? I've got um, a jewellery company called Light Ray Silver, and I design all the jewellery. Um, we manufacture, and I, I do events and supply small shops, and I've done that for about 22, three years now. How long have you been down here? Uh, two. <coughs> Love Cornwall. Best place ever. Been here years. BF Adventure, Julie. Sorry, BF Adventure are a member of Cornwall Network, and we actually work closely with them on okay. local projects for the disadvantaged people. So, where are they going? Uh, so it's basically all under the same umbrella. They, they access a lot of the same funding we do, and we actually okay. collaborate on quite a lot of projects as well. Um, oh, lovely.
know, I know, I know Kath, Eleanor, yes, the yes. manager, Sam Quinn, you know, all the company instructors as well. So we work closely with them. Yeah, great, great oh, sense, great organisation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, can I leave you with this? That's just basically, um, I'm sure you just a little bit about the supposed sort of action plan. I'm quite aware that's very rushed and it is going to change as we go along. Um, and I've got five journals here, but I don't think there's any point in letting you have a look at those because um, no, I can't have read them myself, to be, to be honest. <laughs> Could I possibly have a look at your bidding sheet, Jack? Um, yes, it is. Uh, all, I've put on that's my, all I've put on the bidding sheet is, um, oh, uh, resources, yeah. And it's got your title and things. Yeah, all I've done there is made in uh, manicure printing, but I've been checking it out. It's just so I can remember what project I've done. Thank you. That's perfect. Yeah. Got everything you need? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.